Hello everybody, Akarai here, and welcome back to part two of our Dark Souls um, playthrough. Now, um, in this video, I did do a little bit of a cut, um, gathering some of the items, and I kind of decided that I will do a separate video showing you where all the items are in Dark Souls or 2, um, but in this video, we're going to mainly focus on fighting and kind of slightly continuing our playthrough. Now, this video will be definitely a lot shorter than the, um, <clears throat> you know, VR video. And I'm going to mainly just focus kind of on the boss and uh, a slight part of what you, of one of the things you'll want to try to grab, um, <clears throat> over time and when you are playing this. But, um, for the most part, this will be mostly focusing on the boss and... You know, I'll still show you some of the items that you can get along the way, um, as we continue this, uh, playthrough of, of Dark Souls 2. Um, I will be adding a little bit more commentary this time than I did in our hour-long video, but mostly that is due to the fact that I will, um, you know, I have a little less time um, on this video. It's not like an hour long or anything like that. So, I'm not going to do stuff like cutting in um, or having times where I'm uh, talking to you, um, you know, during certain parts of the video. Now, I will show you some parts of the video and um, I may cut out some other extra parts that I just think are, you know, fat or whatever. But, um, you know, if I do cut out the extra parts that are, like, fat or anything like that, you'll, um, probably notice it basically due to the fact that I'm, uh, continuing, I'm going to continue or show the, like, commentary or whatever. But anyway, this is, um, one of the very first few parts you will, um, run into when you, uh, that I skipped when it came to items, um, which is, of course, these, um, the, you know, Nameless Souls, and, of course, the, um, the Blue Shield, as well as your first the Great Soul Arrow, which is your very first spell that you'll get, um, off the, at least on the ground. It's your first free spell, um, that you'll get, which, um, you know, is a great item to have on hand. And, of course, um, one thing I didn't show you before, and, um, is you can come to these Bastalas and shoot the, um, shoot the barrels off. Of course, if you are speedrunning, you're technically not going to ever actually do that, so, you know, there's really no point in, um, in going in here. And, of course, when you go open to, to open that chest, you'll want to make sure that you, um, of course, you know, move out of the way. Sometimes there's an arrow in there, sometimes there's a poison grenade like I got there. And to open this door here, you just have to knock. Basically, knock on this door until, um, until, of course, you, um, you know, until, of course, the people open up. I mean, after a while, sometimes it takes a lot of knocks, sometimes it only takes a few, but after a while, you'll, the, th these guys that, um, you'll see, you see chasing me here will, um, actually, um, end up, end up opening the door for you so that's the only way to get open the door i don't know of another way like you know if you need the soldier key or a certain key to open that door but i do know that if you knock the door enough knock on the door enough times you'll you'll end up having them kind of open the door for you and of course as you can see here we are using the um <clears throat> the rapier which is by far probably one of the best weapons to use um for a few of the bosses on this game. Mm -hmm. And, um, I will mention one other thing about this, um, fight is that y'all, um, y'all see me mess up the first time. I may cut out the, um, me getting to the next part, or I do cut out the next part, but, um, either way, when, after this part, I, um, ended up failing or having a fail. You'll see the, the, the part where I ended up failing and then, I'm going to basically cut ahead to the point where, um, to the point where, um, I ended up going to the boss, finally, um, because as it is, this video was long, um, in, in its recording stay. I think it was a little over, maybe half an hour or so, um, going forward, um, but yeah, you know, it was a long video, I mean, in general, it was, um, you know, it was about 31 minutes of recording, so, 
So, I mean, you know, I didn't want to put the whole video on here. But you'll see here, this is where I ended up falling. Because I was going to try to collect the items here. And you'll see that I end up collecting one item. If you want to light your torch, you can light your torch there. But I end up collecting one item, which is right there. You'll see me collect this item. And it's like as soon as I go down here to collect the the um, the item in there, in that chest there. I end up kind of just choke, joking it a little because I just get cornered into this position. I do eventually get that item in the chest, but yeah. But of course, yeah, you know. So there you see me. I ended up falling, failing. So, um, yeah. And I think it's around this part here where y'all end up seeing me going, like trying to, like what I did was in post production. And this slow bit of post commentary for those of you who are wondering. I was trying to speed it up because I thought. Yeah, I'll just speed it up and show you, try to show you exactly what happened or what I was trying to do. But I ended up just kind of deciding, you know what, it's not even worth it. I'm just going to go ahead and grab, show my, you know, pop few of these souls to try and buy some stuff. But I ended up just kind of going, you know. But it was like after that, I was kind of like, you know, whatever. But anyway, it's here where I was trying to talk to her to get the uh, ring of sorts, but, you know, I was going by human infantry. That's what I was going to try to do here. Um, but yeah, it just didn't really work, so whatever. Anyway, um, here you'll see me cut ahead to when I am getting to the actual boss fight because, um, yeah, it took me a while to, to even get to this point where, where, you know, where I was um, finally ready to face the boss. Um... So, yeah. <laughs> so, it was like right around here where I ended up kind of finally getting to face the boss. And I think mean, here I'm just showing you how to get some other items that I missed um, along the way. Um, I did end up putting on armor um, just because I got kind of fed up with always being, um, you know. Look, I just kind of got a little fed up with the, um, with the attacks that were going on and... Well, I decided to find, when I finally got the item in that chest, I was like, you know what, it's probably, I'm just going to keep my armor on for now. But, um, I do, at some point, take it off again. Um, I'm not sure if that'll be a cut or anything, but you'll see me grab this item here. Um, watch out for these turtles when you face them. I never really mentioned it in the first part, but when you do face these turtles, just be careful about finding them, because they are very, very powerful. They have some very, very powerful weapons. So, it's easy for the, um, for the game to become a little overburdened, overburdened when you're, um, you know, uh, oh, try and fight these turtles early on. Now, later on, as you progress, you're going to find that end up not having to worry about the turtles as much, but yeah. And I will do a separate video showing you where all the items are and how to get all the items in case you are wondering. And with this guy, with this here, make sure that when you go on that little sword decoration, you bring down the guys who are waiting for you. Because one of the main problems I've noticed when I was trying, when I've been trying, when I tried to get this item in the past is the fact that this guy, these guys were, um, you know, these guys were a pest to deal with. But with that being said, I will meet you all back when, um, after the boss fire fight is done. I'm going to leave you, um, running with the video and just whatever you hear, um, while I, um, you know. And I'll meet you back after the boss fight, um, scene. So, with that being said, I will be back in, I will meet you all and I will start commenting again right after we, um, yeah, hit the boss scene. So, with that being said... Hang tight, everybody.
Alright, so I left you with the cutscene and a little bit of blank space there. But here we are fighting um, the Pursuer. And the Pursuer is a fairly easy fight. Although this one, I kind of mess up on it. So you'll see me kind of load back in and fail it, fail it and load back in. But um, don't worry, this, this fight is fairly, fairly easy. Like, honestly, it's extremely, extremely simple. So, you know... You can pretty much do it. Anyone can pretty much do this fight fairly simply without actually needing help. I mean, many people get the wrong idea and think, Oh my gosh, the Pursuer is so difficult. How do I even fight him? How do I make it to where he is not difficult? And, I mean, the simplest way to do it is um, the what, the speed the speedrun strat. Now, I'm calling this the speedrun strat. And it is pretty much the speedrun strat. It basically makes the Pursuer extremely easy for anybody. Um, in fact, if you knew, if you know about this strategy, strategy, you're gonna see that um, the speedrun strategy is one of the easiest ways to defeat the Pursuer. And here I kind of just take off the armor because it was kind of annoying me. But anyway, here's how the speedrun strat works. You want to first go through here, get back here, and then you want to make this guy charge. After that, run to the crossbow and try to fire it. Now, in this case, I mess up, and he ends up using this long sword um, splash that I was not expecting. So, <laughs> oops, <laughs> so oopsie do. And yeah, that was my second failure on on this boss. But like I said, um, the speedrun strat makes it extremely, extremely easy to fight. Um, to fight this boss, and then um, what I'll do after that is I'll leave you with the bird cutscene leading into a few items that you can grab, um, and then we'll come back when I start the uh, level up process to kind of explain what I'm doing as far as level ups go. And I will do a video talking about level ups and what you need to make yourself optimal on any particular strategy for um, for fighting bosses and everything um, in every Dark Souls eventually or I will be doing it like I do every Dark Souls eventually but for now um, yeah let's go ahead and talk about the uh, the strat again um, so here we go you'll see me that I just ended up kind of speed running through that because I didn't want to waste too much time trying to fight those guys but anyway you'll want this guy to attack you dodge him and then it, before you run to the thing, make sure that he tries to slash you a few times. After that, run to the crossbow and then fire the crossbow. Make sure you're lined up with the crossbow and then just kind of spam X and you're done. Basically, that's it. Two hits with that belt with the ballista and he's done. He's done for basically. And that's basically the speedrun strat. It's very easy. It also comes, it gives you the best ring in my opinion, which is the Ring of Blades, which of course increases your physical damage. So again, very good items to keep on hand, and then here you'll just see me pop a health. I was going to fight these guys, and I was going to show you the armor you could get down there, but um, I ended up kind of going, you know what, I'm not going to even bother, I'm just going to show you the cutscene. So, I'll leave you with the cutscene, and then we'll come back when, um, yeah. When of course the um, you know we're we're talking about level ups and stuff. All right, so here we are heading back to Majunga or Majura. Um, and yeah, this is where um, I'm going to show you the level up and uh, of course, um, you know, what I've done to level up. Um, one of the main things I did on this playthrough compared to other playthroughs, and you'll see that I also um, decided to level up my bow uh, a little bit here, uh, as well as um, upgrade the, um, the sword. And you'll also see that I buy a few arrows for my bow. But um, yeah, with that being said... Anyway, <clears throat> so what I do here is basically I'm ending up, um, you know, leveling up the um, rest of the, um, I'm ending up buying arrows and stuff. But you'll see here that I ended up mostly um, leveling up the, um, leveling up the, um, you know, um, <clears throat> the, um, you know, uh, what you call it, um, uh, 
Oh boy, sorry about the on there. Um, I end up doing a lot more dexterity and a few vitality. Um, mostly I am building a dexterity based character, so you'll probably see me eventually use a lot more bow and stuff on certain occasions, as well as you'll also see me use the um, stuff like the um, the rapier more often than less. But um, yeah, you'll see me just put a load, a load, a load of stats into uh, into of course. Um, you know, into vitality and of course, um, <clears throat> and of course dexterity, which is kind of my normal. But with that being said, thank you everybody for joining me on this video. If you did like this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button, get subscribed, hit the bell notification because I know you want to know when my next video drops next. Thank you everybody for joining me on this video. I am live on Twitch at www.twitch.tv slash Akurai. I am live on Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday for four to five hours, and I am trying to make a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday stream going forward for um, two to three hours for Monday and Tuesday and Sunday. Um, but thank you everyone for joining me. And until the next one, this is Akurai signing on saying farewell, everyone. Thank you everybody for joining me today on this video. If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button, get subscribed, hit the bell notification because I know you want to know when my next video drops next. Um, I am live on Twitch at www.twitch.tv slash Akurai. I am live on Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday for four to five hours. I am trying to make a Monday, Tuesday, and potentially a bonus stream Sunday going on um, for two to three hours on Monday, Tuesday, and Sunday. But with that being said, thank you everybody for joining me. Until the next one, this is Akurai Sion saying <clears throat> farewell, everyone.